All right, so I'm back here at the dead tree at my yard. This time I'm out here with the Saw Viver Camp Saw. I'm gonna do a little tabletop review on it, but first I just wanna demonstrate how it cuts. It doesn't make short work of, of a lot of things, so I'm just gonna saw this off real quick and see how fast it goes. As you can see, one-handed operation here. It's going pretty well. It's about uh, five inches in diameter, this particular branch that I'm working on. And uh, this is a be a very, very good tool out in the woods. If you like hiking, uh, and you're in a spot where you can cut. I know a lot of places you're not allowed to, to cut any trees down. Some places you probably are. So it's about to break free here. Very lightweight, compact option as you'll see. Once I take it to the tabletop. And there it goes. Easy peasy. I just wanted to show a little bit more on the capabilities of of how easy it is to get through some of the smaller stuff because um, I'm gonna have to cut this tree up a little bit before I can take it up into the yard and uh, so I'll just chop a couple of these small limbs here this blade's really sharp saw's really lightweight I mean it cuts through wood just like butter I mean easy Definitely would be an awesome tool to have out when you're hiking and whatnot. So it's just a couple, little bit more uh, demo of the saw's capability. Hey everyone, Steve here with At The Ready. And today I've got some good news and some bad news about the Saw Viver saw from Trailblazer. First we're going to talk about the good stuff about the saw. Uh, really it's a great saw uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about uh, this is an 18 inch version it's 18 inches long three inches wide uh, less than an inch thick and it only weighs about 10 ounces uh, really awesome saw it collapses down so this is good for backpacking or uh, even your your bug out bag it doesn't weigh a lot it doesn't take up a whole lot of room and a saw is i think uh if you can afford to pack it if you have space and you have and you have room for uh, more, a little bit more weight I think a saw is critical out in the woods uh, axes are great hatchets are great uh, even tomahawks are great but uh, they have a, a specific role when you're working uh, out in the woods when you're processing wood to build a shelter or to make a fire or anything like that uh, you know, for stri for strictly just cutting purposes, I think a saw is going to save you a lot of time and energy when you're out in the woods, um, either a trying to survive or just backpacking. Um, you're going to save a lot of calories, energy, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, to, and open this saw up. So to open this up, you just fold down the handles here, and the blade is stored within this in this. Uh, handle so you can pull the blade out just pull the blade out and then you fold down your handles it's got an adjustment screw right here so you kind of want to bring that uh, close that down a little bit and then you can attach your saw your blade here this blade is really sweet uh, cuts through wood like butter I mean it's as you saw in the video that I opened with cutting through a few smaller branches I mean obviously you're not gonna be able to cut through too much um, I did probably cut through a couple foot branch you know foot thick maybe two foot thick branches on the tree that I was cutting down in my yard and uh, so next you're just gonna you're just gonna hook the holes of the blades right here there's there's a hole right there and there's a hole in the back put them put it on there and then you're going to tighten this down 
real easy to do. Make it as tight as you can get it. That way you don't have a lot of flex in the blade. Um, if you were watching, maybe you could see the blade flexing a little bit. I didn't have it tight enough. Uh, when I was cutting, I had to tighten it down a little bit. So tighten it down, and there you go. You have a really awesome collapsible saw that you can use for hiking, backpacking. Uh, like I said, this is the 18-inch version. Looks like you got... See how deep this is from the, the blade here. I got my Leatherman uh, Wave previously reviewed, and it does have a um, a ruler right here, up to eight inches, and then you got centimeters on the bottom. So I just wanted to measure this real quick and see how deep this this saw can cut. Looks like you're at about five and a half inches. So. You know, when you're working with something a little bit thicker, a foot thick or so, you're going to have to, you know, cut it on one side, maybe cut it on the other side. Eventually, it'll, you know, whatever you're cutting will fall over. It'll break apart. Um, it's, you know, you just, it's not super deep, but it's definitely good for processing wood um, and just, and just maybe setting it up to chop with an axe or a larger survival knife later. Obviously, you can't chop with this, so it does have some limitations. Um, so, the bad news. The bad news is I've had this saw for a few years now, and I was trying to see if I could find a link where you guys could buy the saw, and it looks like it has been discontinued. As far as I can tell, Trailblazer is still around, uh, but they really don't offer much, uh, especially in a, a folding saw. Uh, looks like they have one, a six inch saw frame folding saw. Uh, I have no experience with that. Uh, that's what I just found here real quick on Amazon. They don't, so like, like I said, bad news, they don't have this model anymore. Um, I can't even find any on any other places. I looked on Amazon and other, uh, other websites, can't find it. I hope that doesn't mean I don't know if I can even find blades, because that would really suck. But what that means is I'm going to have to find another option for a folding saw that I can bring to the reviewing table and uh, let you guys know about. I have had a few viewers chime in on their favorite folding saws, so please in the comments below chime in if you have a favorite folding saw you would like me to review. Go ahead and let me know what it is and I will do that, because I'm going to need a new one if I can't replace the blade on this. It's Eventually it's going to break and be dull and be useless and I won't be able to use it so I'll have to have another option so please in the comments below suggest a saw that you would like me to try out and use and I will go ahead and, and find one. Other than that please subscribe and like this video if you found it informative and helpful and thanks for watching.